Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can delete data in admin panel. So for it, uh, here we have some data. So here we'll have the delete column and for each data, we we'll have a delete button. So let's go and create a delete column first. So let's go back to our code. And here uh, you can see viewroom.bed.php. From here, basically we are getting this view. So after this image, we have the delete column. So here you can see the image header. So let me just copy this and we we'll paste it here and stop image. We are going to say here, delete, save. Then if we now refresh here, there you can see we have the delete column. So for each data, we need to have a delete button. So for it, let's go back. And here you can see we have the for each loop. So inside the for each loop, we have the tier tag. So inside this tier tag, we're going to mention a TD tag, on more TD tag, and this TD will be for the delete button. And for the delete button, we will use anchor tag. So here, we'll say delete. And for this anchor tag, we're going to mention a class and the class name will be BTN, BTN, it will be danger. This is a bootstrap class name. So right now let's save it and let's just refresh here. And there you can see we have the delete button, but if we click on delete, nothing will happen. It will just keep us on the same page. So we need to give a route name for this delete button. So let's go back and here you can see each shape. So inside this each shape, we'll give to second bracket and then we're going to say URL to first bracket to single quotation. And we're going to say, let's say room underscore delete. And after this, we need to mention for which column we want to delete the data. So for each column, so I mean for each row, we have a specific ID. So for this, we have an ID. Also for this, we have an ID. And in order to delete any data, we need to use ID because ID is always unique. And let me just show you. Here it is, we have two ID, two and three. So we need to get that ID in this delete button. So for it, what we need to do is that after this URL room underscore delete, we need to give a comma here. Using this dollar data variable, we are showing all the data. So we can just do the same thing for getting the ID. So we'll say here dollar data ID. It means whenever we click on this delete button, it will call this URL with the specific ID. So let me just show you. If I now just save this and if I now refresh over here and if I click on this delete button, here you can see if I now click on this delete button, here you can see in the URL, we are seeing the room underscore delete with the ID, which is two. And if I now click on this delete button, it will show us a different ID. Here you can see room underscore delete and the ID this time is three. So right now what we need to do is we need to write the route for this. So let's go back to our uh, web.php and let me just copy this route control C and control V. So the route will be get and instead of view underscore rule, we need to say here room underscore delete control C and we'll paste it here. And we need to do one more thing and that is we are also sending the ID form here. So we need to cache that ID. So we need to give a slash here and we need to give two second bracket and inside it, we need to say ID. After this, we also need to give a function name. Let's say function name will be room underscore delete. Let's save it. Let's go to our admin controller and create this function. We'll go to our admin controller and we're going to say here public function room underscore delete to first bracket and then to second bracket. And as you can see then we are sending the ID from here to the admin controller as well. So we need to cache that ID. So we say here dollar ID. So this will cache the ID. So after it, we we'll declare a variable. We say here dollar data equal to, we'll mention our table model name, which is room. Then to single quotation. And we already mentioned the room model name at the top over here. So 
we say here room, then we need to say here find to first bracket, then this dollar ID and this dollar ID is this one. So what we are doing is that we are finding the specific ID and then storing it in this dollar data variable. So after this, we can just say over here dollar data, this arrow sign delete. We we'll just call the delete function and it will delete that specific data. So after deleting the data, we have to stay on the same page. So we say here read down, redirect to first bracket, this arrow sign, we say here back like this. So let's just save it. And right now let's go back to our browser. Let's refresh here. And for example, let's say we want to delete this. So here we have the delete button right now. But before we delete the data, let me just explain. So what will happen is that when someone click on this delete button, it will call this URL with the specific ID. And uh, this will call our route with the ID and our route will call our admin controller this function. And admin controller function will get the specific ID, delete it and keep us on the same page. Okay. So let's just uh, click on delete. It's refreshing. And here you can see the data is deleted. If I just refresh my table over here, you can see only on data over here. So right now what I'm going to do is that uh, when someone click on this delete button, it will show the admin a confirmation message that are you sure to delete this? And if they say, okay, only then the data will be deleted. But before that, let me just uh, create a new room over here. So let me just click add rooms and uh, here in the room title, let's say here premium room, premium room, and let's give a description. Let's give a price will be 200. Room type will be premium, Wi Fi, yes, and uh, image will be, let's say, this one. Then click open, then click add room. And right now, if you go to our view rooms, there you can see we have another group. So let's go and add a confirmation message for the delete button. So let's go back to our code. And right now uh, we'll go to our view, view underscore blade dot PHP. And here in this anchor tag, what we are going to do is we are going to say here on click. On click is a JavaScript function. We'll say here return confirm to first bracket, then to single quotation. And here we're going to say are you sure to delete this? And we also give a semicolon here. So here you can give a different message if you want. Are you sure or anything? And okay, I made a mistake. R E T U R N. Return confirm. So let's save it here. And right now let's go back and let's just refresh here again. And this time, if I now click on this delete button, here you can see it is showing us a message that are you sure to delete this. And if I click cancel, it don't delete our data. But if I now click OK, it will delete the data. Here you can see it's now reloading and it deleted the data. So this is how we can delete data in Laravel. Uh, so I hope this tutorial was useful to you. If you have any question or problem, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe and really appreciate that and I hope to see you in the future tutorials.